the Lewis structure of iron to bromide has iron, which is a transition metal, a metal being on the left side of the staircase of the periodic table, bonding to bromine, Br, which is on the right-hand side of the staircase and is a non-metal. When metals bond with non-metals, you get ionic bonding, which is a transfer of electrons, not a sharing of electrons, like we have when non-metals bond together. That's called covalent bonding. Instead, we have iron, which is going to eventually have a plus two charge. I want you to draw an Fe with two valence electrons. Once it loses those two electrons, it will have the positive two charge that we are looking for. I also want you to draw me a bromine. Now bromine, let's bring that table back, is in group 17. It brings seven valence electrons to the table. So here's your Br, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven valence electrons. Non-metals other than hydrogen usually want a full octet or eight electrons in their outer shell. So iron will give one electron away to complete the octet on this bromine. Now that's all fine and good, but where's the other electron gonna go? A second bromine steps up to the plate with its seven valence electrons, and now iron has a place to donate its second electron. Our final structure here has an Fe, but it's given away both of its electrons, so don't put any dots there, and a plus two charge, because it lost its two negatively charged electrons. Now we also have bromines, but the bromines, which brought seven electrons each, now have eight. So make sure you draw those four pairs of electrons, minus one charge, because it has one extra negatively charged electron, and whether you like it or not, you're probably gonna have to draw a second one of them because you need two bromines to absorb the electrons from iron. See, iron two, FeBr two, all the clues are there. And those clues manifest themselves here as well. So there's your completed structure, Lewis structure for iron two bromide. Thank you for being with me and best of luck.